Hello and welcome to Mathematical Coaching Center. Today in this video we'll be discussing on different properties of ratio and proportion. But before we start, my name is Umang Khawas and if you have any problem in learning mathematics then consider subscribing this channel. So without any further delay, let's begin. So let us see the first property known as Invertendo. So in this property, if there is a ratio A is to B and that is equals to C is to D. So if we convert that into fraction form, we'll get A by B is equals to C by D. So this is what we get after converting this into fraction form. Okay, we will just invert this fraction. Okay, we will take the denominator on the numerator part and numerator on the denominator part of both the fraction or both the ratios. Okay, so this is what we do. So we'll get B by A is equals to D by A. C. So after inverting, we get this. Okay. So if you have to write that in fraction form, we'll be getting B is to A, B is to A, D is to C, D is to C. So from the first and the last ratio that we get, we just see that the antecedent and the consequent of both the ratio have interchanged their positions. Okay. This property is known as invertendo or in fraction form, you just invert it. And this property is known as inverse tendo. So let's see the next one that is alternando. In this, suppose there is a ratio A is to B is equals to C is to D. If you write that into fraction form, that is A by B is equals to C by D. Okay. We will multiply this. Okay. Cross multiply. So after cross multiplication, what do we get? We get A into D is equals to B into C. So after that, what we'll do is we'll bring this c part onto the left hand side and take d onto the right hand side so if we do that we'll get a by c is equal to b by d okay so now basically what we are doing is we are interchanging this position of b and c see here we are just interchanging the position of b and c so this property is known as alternando so if we have to write this in ratio form so we have a is to c is equals to a is to c is equals to b is to d so comparing the first and the last ratio what we see is that the consequent of the first ratio is being interchanged with the antecedent of the second ratio so this property is known as alternando okay let us see the next property that is componendo suppose we have a ratio a is to b is equals to c is to d writing this into fraction form we have a by b is equals to c by d now here what we'll do is we'll just add one on both the sides we are adding one on le left hand side and we are adding one on right hand side so finding out the lcm of b and one it will be b and finding out the lcm of d and one it will give us d so finally after addition what we get is we get a by b divided by b is equal to c by d divided by d so this is what we get okay and writing this into ratio form we have a plus b divided uh, is to b is equal to c plus d is to d so this property is known as component okay so here what we do is we just add the numerator and the denominator and write that into numerator and again we do the same thing on the right hand side also c plus d numerator plus denominator divided by the divided by d okay by the denominator part so here we are just adding the numerator plus denominator by b is equals to numerator plus denominator by d okay the denominator part remains same just in the numerator we are adding the fraction here so here also what we see is that the antecedent and the consequent is being added and is written in the antecedent part and the same thing on the other ratio also adding both the antecedent and the consequent and writing that in the antecedent part okay this property is known as componendo so while applying componendo what you can do is you can directly write this okay no so no need to show this part that adding one on both the sides okay so just write numerator plus denominator by denominator but you have to do that on the both sides so let us see next dividendo so in 
dividend oh, if there is a ratio a is to b is equal to c is to d here also we do the same thing but we subtract one on both the sides so subtracting one on both the sides what we get is we get by finding out lcm it is b and subtracting we get a minus b by b c minus d by d okay so in dividendo applying dividendo what we can do is we can subtract numerator minus denominator by denominator is equals numerator minus denominator by denominator okay this fraction becomes something like this okay this is by the property of dividendo in componendo it was addition here it was addition in dividendo it becomes subtraction so in ratio form it becomes a minus b is to b is equals c minus d is to d so your antecedent minus consequent that will be written in antecedent part and antecedent minus consequent and that will be written in the antecedent part so this is dv dendo now the very important property that is componendo and dividendo so suppose we have the ratio a is to b is equals to c is to d and if we write that into fraction form we have this now applying componendo in this fraction we have a plus b divided by b is equal to c plus d divided by d so this is by componendo this is by componendo okay now if we do the same thing and apply dividendo on this fraction a by b is equal to c by d okay we have a minus b divided by b is equal to c minus d divided by d this is by dividendo this is by dividendo okay now what we will do is we will divide left hand side by left hand side right hand side by right hand side so dividing this by this so what we have after division b and b will get cancelled out your d and d will get cancelled out so what we have is a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to c plus d divided by c minus d so this is what we get so this property is known as componendo and dividendo okay applying both componendo and dividendo we can write a by b is equal to c by d will give us a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to c plus d divided by c minus d so this is by the property of componendo and dividendo your numerator plus denominator divided by numerator minus denominator and that should be done on both the sides so writing this into ratio form we'll get something like this a plus b is to a minus b is equal to c plus d is equal to c minus d so this is componendo and dividendo together and finally we have the property addendo so in this suppose there's a ratio a is to b is equals to c is to d is equals to e is to f so writing this into fraction form what we get is a by b is equals to c by d is equals to e is to e by f now in this what we do is we directly add up the numerator part or the antecedent part okay we just add the antecedent part so what uh, will it give us it will give us a plus c plus e and we will add the denominator part okay so it will give us a plus d plus f so that will be equal to each ratio if we have this Ra uh, fraction that a by b is equal to c by d is equal to e by f then what we can write is that each ratio is equal to a plus c plus e adding a c and e divided by b plus d plus f and that will be equal to each ratio now what do you understand by each ratio each ratio means these are each of this ratio and this the new fraction that we get a plus c plus e divided b plus d plus f that will be equal to all of this so finally what we can write is something like this a by b is equal to c by d is equal to e, e by f is equal to a plus c plus e divided by b but not only that okay if we multiply each of the ratios with any numbers like l m n okay so here we are multiplying the first ratio with l the second with m and the third with n so what we have is l by L multiplying like this L A by L B M by M D N by N F 
this is something we have because after cancellation if we cancel l and l it will be a by b m by m gets cancelled out so it will give us c by d and n by n that will give us e by f so multiplying does not change anything but what we get is then if these are the ratios okay so applying what we applied previously we have something like this so we have each ratio will be equals to la plus mc plus ne see la plus mc plus ne divided by lb plus md plus nf so this is what we get after applying addendo so that means each of the ratios can be multiplied by three different numbers if there are three ratios here so and that will be equal to each of this ratio this is very very important property and what is each ratio each ratios are a by b c by d and e by f this each of these ratios will be equal to this so this is very important property and i hope that this video gave you a brief idea about different properties of ratio and proportion so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to solve few problems using this property so to stay updated subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell thank you for watching and have a good day